welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a green pour. I was um, inspired by this Arteza pack I got today. I got this 60 acrylic colors. They come in these little tubes like this. And it is very pigmented. You really only need a tiny bit. This is 22 milliliters, so about three quarters of an ounce of paint. So, but you get 60 of them, and this was $40, but they had 15% off. Um, so, I ordered this, and it is based in California, which is great, because I got it like in two days. So, I was super excited about that. Beautiful, beautiful colors. You get a ton of them. So this is the tubes they come in. And they offer Afterpay, which is awesome. If you guys don't know what Afterpay is, it's a payment installment. So you order it. They send you your products. Um, you pay for, so like this was 36 something. It came out to almost $40 with the 15% off. So I'll pay $9 and in two weeks I'll pay another $9 and two weeks after that another $9, two weeks after that another $9. So if you're on a budget, it's a really cool um, way to get some stuff and lots of stores offer it. So see if um, they have that, but Arteza has it, which is pretty cool. So we're going to start off. This is a 12 by 12 canvas and I put my pan back on my on my table because it makes it a little easier to move my wet stuff out of the way so that I can do more paintings without having my wet paintings on the table with me while I'm trying to do different stuff. So I'm just using that. That's the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in White. I'm going to use my big spatula to move this around. And the um, paint set comes with a lot of greens and they were so pretty. So I was like, mm, I think I'll do a green pour. I haven't done a green pour yet. So nothing better than green. I'm going to scrape that off onto there. Now that I don't have my little puppy pads on my table anymore, I should probably get a paper towel laid out. Oops. So I don't make such a mess. Okay. Put the lid on this white before I spill it because I'm a klutz sometimes. All right. And then I'm just going to kind of get this. I'm going to tilt this so I get a nice good coat everywhere. I like the spatulas, but You gotta do it just right at the right angle sometimes so that it um, doesn't leave little marks. And this way, when you tilt it and kind of use your fingers, I mean, there's no better tools than your fingers, guys. You really don't have to buy a spatula or anything to. Okay, that means there's something. Alexa, pause. I was listening to jazz and it just kind of snuck up on me. I think I have like, I don't know if they would consider it like ADHD, but I cannot think and concentrate if something is like in the background, like that music. I just, I couldn't think because I heard it. And like concentrated on it so much that that's all I heard. I couldn't even hear what I was trying to say in my own head. <laughs> Anybody else or am I just crazy? And that's okay. I could be crazy. That's fine. That's fine with me. Okay, let's pop these bubbles. And I see stuff in my paint. I thought that thought it was bubbles, but it's not. I bet you it's the uh, um the lid is getting stuff, uh, paint dried on it. So that's probably what these little things are. So I'm going to get them off right now so they don't end up in my 
paint later. Okay, that didn't work that time, but I made a bubble. Okay. Pop that bubble. I see you, bubble. I get you. A little tiny hair, probably from the dog. Probably from the doggies. I should show you guys our new puppy. We got a little Great Dane. She's so cute. But she is a little terror. Okay. So we're going to go in with this deep green from Arteza. This is what it looks like. And I just mixed it with some um, Floetrol and some, I put a little bit of Liquitex gloss varnish in it and just a tad of water. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna do a puddle pour. I, my puddle pours never work out when I try to do um, the Dutch pours. So, let's go this way. Let's go diagonal. So we'll start off with this deep green. That way. And then we're going to use Phalo Green from Artist Loft. Phalo Green. Then we'll use Emerald Green from Master's Touch. Ooh, that's a pretty green. Oops. Touch my paint. Perty green, perty green. And I do want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm glad you're here. Hopefully you're enjoying this. And if you are um, doing this, hopefully you're learning something. And if you're not doing this, hopefully you're enjoying the art at least. And this is Brilliant Yellow by Artist Loft. Why'd my TV go off? My TV just went off all by itself. And then I want to use some of this Antique Bronze by Deco Art Americana. Because I just got this and I haven't used it yet. And these little bottles, I get these at the 99 cent store. And they're not that great for this. <laughs> They're just not that great for this. Oh, I wonder if the dog turned the TV off because he was up on the couch. Now we're going to flood it with white. And flood this side with white. Because we're going to blow the white over the color. All right. Let's get at it. Actually... I gotta pop those bubbles first. There was lots of bubbles because I had to shake up the, the white. Pop those bubbles first. the middle
blow dryer is just not very powerful. My little one is more powerful, but you can't put it on a pool setting. So it kind of starts to dry your paint, so you gotta be really careful. Gotta be really careful with the little one. So, let's see, that's really pretty. I like the lacing that's going on right there. Let's turn this. Oh, did I? I got my hair in there, I think. Uh oh. <laughs> I think I got my hair in there, guys. Which means I'm going to have green paint in my hair. <laughs> Oopies. blow some of that out and be a little more careful okay there we go oh that's so party I really really like this green that deep green from Arteza, this right here, is so beautiful. There we go. I like that. I like it. I like it. I don't know what that was. My edges need a little more coverage. Blowing that paint out by your mouth gives you a head rush and a headache. <laughs> you wouldn't think so, but it does. Makes you feel like you're going to pass out. <laughs> Put some more white there. I think next time I need to make my white base a little thicker. I think, or like a little, yeah. Put a little bit more on because it did not uh, I don't think there was enough flow but there we go okay I'll bring it up so you guys can see it super super pretty I'll take some pictures too, of course. That bronze is coming through right there. Really pretty. I'm going to torch this and see what we get. Super pretty. Woohoo! That is gorgeous. It's a lot of paint right there. There we go. 
There we go. I kind of want to blow in there a little bit. Because there's like this white in there that's making it kind of gray. And I don't like that. I can see that there's um, like some, what word am I looking for? Some paint underneath. pretty color under there. There we go. Yeah, there was like a lot of that dark color under there, so I wanted to get that out. Okay. Whew. I'm dizzy. Dizzy, dizzy. All right. So, that is the green one. Really, really gorgeous. I love it. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. All right. So I will definitely take some pictures of this. It'll be at the end of this video. So you guys can see some up close um, pictures of it. And then um, I will also probably Take some pictures of it when it's dry so you guys can see that too um so if you guys like what you saw make sure to click subscribe if you want to get notified of when i post videos make sure you click that little bell and if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down in the comment section and ask me any questions you may have for now this is what I got for you. So I hope you enjoyed. I love you guys. Have an amazing day.